Hi everyone, in this video I will show you a quick and easy trick to remove repeating labels from cells in the table and still being able to sort and filter uh, the data after that. Now what we have here is a navigation of a website. So we have level 1, that is uh, a home page. Level 2 we have clothing, uh, shoes, accessories. Level 3 we have each levels under clothing, for example, tops, uh, bottoms, coats and jackets, uh, sleepwear, dresses, and the shoes. We have all the different types of shoes and under accessories as well, types of accessories. And level four is the deepest level of the website. We have unique pages, which are um, another types, t-shirts, sweaters, hoodies, sweatshirts, these are all on the tops. So it will be a lot cleaner and less cluttered if we only have uh, home repeating ones, clothing and shoes repeating ones, and uh, don't see any labels under this. Uh, so we can easily delete them, but that will affect our sorting and filtering. We'll be able to sort only uh, the first level where clothing exists and we'll uh, lose the rest of the data in level 3 and level 4. So let's go back uh, and return our labels and uh, think about another way of doing it. So to remove or hide the repeating labels in column A to C, we're going to use conditional formatting technique in the form of a custom formula and applying white font on white background. First, we're going to select all cells uh, where we have a repeating label. So I will select line 2 from A to C column till the end of our table. And where you can find conditional formatting is on the home tab over here, and we will navigate to more rules. So on the more rules, we're going to use a formula to determine uh, the cell format. And we, we, we're going to apply the formula on the first active cell, uh, which is A2. So we will think about the formula from this point of view. Um, we want to apply the white font on white background for any value that is repeated uh, on, the, on, the, on the line above. So we will write the formula A2 is equal to A1. So if the value in A2 is equal to A1, apply white font on white background. So we're going to go and change our format. And now we're on the font tab and we have to switch uh, the automatic color, which is black right now, to white color. And now we don't see the text in the cell anymore. So clicking OK and applying it removes all of the repeating um, labels so far. It is important to note that this, will, this formatting will work only if the background is white. So if you're using gray or light blue background or any other color of choice uh, in your table background, you have to match the font with the same uh, color as the background in order to um, make sure that your uh, labels disappear or hide. You can see the value is still uh, in the cell, but we don't see it because it is a white font on the uh, white background. Now you can uh, test the sorting and filtering, and this time we will filter clothing and then we can filter, for example, dresses. And now we have all dresses on the hair in level four. Um, the same will be for any other um, level you choose. For example, we select shoes and now um, go and navigate to sneakers 
And now we have all level 4 sneakers um, pages on it. So this was one very quick and easy tip to hide labels, but make sure you communicate with your coworkers that this is a condition of formatting because if they notice that the value is here but they're not going they're not seeing the value in the table they cannot even print it and start uh, applying any colors from here and it doesn't apply because they don't know it is a condition of formatting it's necessary to communicate with anyone that is going to use your uh, file afterwards Alright, that's all I have for you today. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for the channel. See you in the next video.